Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install new fonts onto Windows 10. So when you're doing a lot of graphic design work you may want to install some different fonts rather than the ones that you have as default on your computer. So you can go ahead and open up Google Chrome. In this example I'm going to go to this website. It's called Font Squirrel. So Font Squirrel. So I'll put a link to this website in the YouTube description. We'll click on here and it's going to give us these options to download some fonts and look at some fonts. Uh, we'll find one that we like. Let's say for example something that I don't already have installed. Let's say this chunk 5, right? So I'll click download or just click on the font here and you'll get to this page and you can preview it here so you can go to specimen and you can see an example of what that font might look like and then we'll go to download here. We'll click on that and it will download the zip file. So here I've got a download of the zip file. I'll drag that to my desktop and we can close down the browser window and then it's always worth um, giving it a quick virus check just to make sure whenever you download something make sure you virus check it seems to be fine so we'll extract this here so we'll unzip the file and we can delete the zip file now so we've got the font and we've got the license here and if we open up the license if you read for it it will clearly tell you that you can use this font you can't sell it but you can use it so we'll get rid of that and now we're left with just the font so if we open up our explorer and go to this PC and then go to C drive. So we're looking at our C drive now and go to Windows. So we go to the Windows folder and then we've got the fonts folder here. If we open up that fonts folder, we'll see all the existing fonts that we have. And all we need to do is drag and drop this font into the window here and it will install the font. Now that font is installed, it's called Chunk 5. And in theory, we should be able to load up Libre Writer. So here we've got Libre Office Writer. So we can do test font. And it was called Chunk Right with a C. Here it is. Now we can start using that font within our Libre Office document. Or we could even go ahead and load up something like GIMP. And then inside our graphic application, if we were to create a new document and then get our text, we can just write in here, this is a test, select the font, and we can select it from, uh, let's just expand this. We can select it from here. And it was called chunk five. There it is, chunk five. And we can see the font. Just make that a bit bigger. And then we can use that within our graphic software as well. So that's how you go about downloading and installing fonts onto your Windows 10 computer. Okay, I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.